robust campaign tools are built into your nation. To take full advantage of these features, you want to first set up your election, and that's what we'll be covering in this video. Enable voter features. In your control panel, when you go to settings, you should see a tab labeled political. If there is no political option under settings, go to settings, nation defaults, basics, and check the box next to enable voters. Then click save settings at the bottom of the page to save your changes. To ensure that you see the correct setup options, also make sure your country is set correctly under your profile icon, contacts, and billing. Define your election. Setting up your election is the important first step in the process, as several features are built on the information provided here. Go to Settings, Political, Elections. The election to a single office can be broken up into several stages. Therefore, each time people vote is defined as a separate election. Election cycle. Typically, this is defined as the year in which the final election period occurs and is a required field. Election period. Options are primary, general, special, recount, runoff, convention, previous campaign, or other. Select your state and country code. Voter registration deadline. Click in this field and a calendar will appear to allow you to select the date by which voters must register for your election. Election day. Click in this field and a calendar will appear to allow you to select the date of your election, and this is a required field. Maximum donation per person. The maximum amount of money a person may donate to your election per the rules governing your election. Click the Save Election button to save your inputs. Once you save an election, it will appear in the list at the bottom of the page and can be edited or deleted at any time. Political Settings Once you've defined your elections, go to Settings, Political, Settings. This is where you select the candidate. Make sure the candidate's name on the profile is as it will appear on the ballot. Next, indicate party affiliation. The party drop-down menu depends on where you are located. Select the next election. Donation maximum per cycle. This is the total maximum amount a person can contribute in a year. For example, if the individual limit in the 2014 primary election is $2,600 and the limit in the 2014 general election is $2,600, then you should enter $5,200 in this field. That way, any amount contributed during the primary above $2,600 will be designated for your general election. Your donation pages will make the adjustments automatically when you complete the election setup. Automatically update federal and state districts when an address changes. We recommend keeping this box checked to allow auto-districting to occur. This is useful for understanding a voter's current district, but may vary from the place where they are registered to vote. Enable custom precincts. This checkbox only displays on nations within the U.S. If you import voter information from the Nation Builder Election Center, leave this box unchecked and you will be able to work with the NBEC precincts. If you import a voter file, check this box to work with those precincts. Ignore Federal Do Not Call List We do not recommend checking this box, but in some states it is legal for political purposes to ignore the National Do Not Call Registry. Click Save Settings at the bottom of the page. Political Office Once you complete the political settings, go to Settings, Political, Office. Defining the office name and geographic location gives your nation the ability to automatically determine whether new people are eligible to vote in your election. You should only fill out the fields that are relevant to your election. The office name is required. Again, only fill in any other fields if they are relevant to your race. For example, if it's a statewide race, there's no need for county or city, just put the state. If you're running for Congress, just put the state and federal district. If you're running for mayor, just put the city and state. If you're running for school board, just put the school board, district, and state. Click Save Settings at the bottom of the page to save your changes.